<laughs> hey everyone, Jens is flying high here. Uh, here with the next episode of Team Air Combos, where they're talking about the Marvel Top 8 from this year's Evo. Uh, this time I am doing Prodigy versus Ryan LV. Um, obviously Ryan V right there was basically the, the winner of EVO right there, sorry about spoilers, but it was pretty obvious how well he's been doing in this tournament. Um, uh, and then he was against Prodigy right there. Prodigy, um, would definitely did very well right there, got it going to the top right there, but then he, like, like lost right there. Um, let's actually uh, talk about a couple things real quick. Um, basically, uh, Ryan Howell V is a very unique team that's to Ryan LV itself because uh, it's an offer that's team with Chun-Li, Morgan, and Phoenix because of uh, one thing no one plays Chun-Li so no one really knows the matchup against her right there. Morgan because it's Morgan and Phoenix because Phoenix is basically uh, a win contestant for fighting games right there. While my while Prodigy's team right there is basically the like a uh, basic uh, Doom uh, a basic uh, Phoenix team with Magneto, Doom, Phoenix. Uh, yeah, um, what's he's definitely a pretty decent player right there. But let's let's, let's go right into the match right now. Okay, basically, that's look. Um, basically, obviously, right there, um, Ryan LB's game plan right there is to basically uh, run away right there and uh, build meter with his Phoenix of Six, uh, with his Morgan of right there to actually help with Phoenix. And oh, um, sorry about that glitch right there. It's because I'm on my laptop here. Oh, and, and now, um, this right here is one of the scariest factors with Ryan LB's team. It's because. He has TC inference for all three of his characters, and he is able to rivalry really do him almost like 90% of the time right there. He does drop this combo, I believe, right there, because, you know, it's a difficult combo, but he is very reliant. Uh, you know, he's very reliable on doing all of them. Uh, see, look, he does drop the combo right there. I told you that because, you know, I um, watched most of these videos before and watched them live, and... Another thing is that Ryan LV is willing to spend meter when he has multiple bars out there because um, he doesn't have, ooh, that's a good, that was a very good instant overhead right there. I didn't expect it right there. Uh, ooh, he dropped the confirm off that. And oh, and also, this is another reason why Ryan, this is a bad team against Prodigy's team. It's because he has multiple ways to stop Phoenix from coming out entirely right there. Which was one, he has t multiple TSC attacks right there. Two, um, he has um, basically made a drain assist right there with Phoenix. And uh, two, he can just basically set it up with each thing. It's basically very hard for Phoenix players to actually win against Ryan LB. Says, okay, okay, that's this right here is a very good decision right here just because he is uh, going back to character slot to reset the momentum right there to make sure so that Ryan LB does not have a momentum right there and also will give Prodigy a chance to actually think of a new strategy against this. I do like the option right there. Says, uh, then look, he's fighting away right there. He uh, is trying to figure, and look, he gets the hit right there. That's pretty good right there. Now, what he's gonna do right there, he's gonna TAC probably and TC down. Good, that's no smart hit, and he will get this combo, I believe. And he will get the combo with it. That's actually pretty good. And now he's gonna tag, okay. Oh, I can, okay. That's another thing with that. Morgan uh, does have, she has one of the only two characters in the game that has a very good incoming thing because she has level three with Invincible and you can do it in the air so she's like Sentinel and also because she has that DP move right there which is uh, Saddle Blade, which is also Invincible right there. So that's really good. And, and oh, that was a very bad heart attack. Oh, he's going to confirm off it and he basically, oh, and they look. He should have let Bandito die. He should have let Bandito die. Hmm, instead of like a uh, like a uh, lap death and with an Ooh, okay. Uh bad confirms right there. He dropped two confirms in this like last two matches here. It's I know it's a very in the scramble situation right there, it's very hard to get those confirms off it. But you have to in high level marble 
Whoever can get those confirms out have the better chance of winning the matches no matter what. He dropped two of them right there and like he lost one match because he dropped the hidden thing. And he would have killed Morgan right there, which Morgan would have been the direct counter right there and he yes he had a chance of winning this. And he uh dropped the like dropped the like, hit on that one right there because of that, because he wasn't used to it. Well, okay, gets Morgan back in right there. He, he wants Morgan in because um, C, C has a big matchup against his Phoenix right there. And oh, that was a oh, that was a such a bad, bad hard tag. Using that hard tag. Oh, he. I I would spend the bar here. Oh, he he fucked up right there. He dropped the combo. That. I believe that actually cost him right there because he dropped the combo. Because basically, yep. Yeah, see, like he dropped the combo right there. And he, uh, he. That's basically. That was the. That was such a heartbreaker of a freaking prodigy right there. There was nothing he could have done about that because of that. That's says right. He, if he didn't, he, he was sort of spending the meter right there to actually kill off Morgan. Because Morgan would have basically, then he would not have worry, had to worry about basically, uh, uh, like, 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 losing Dark Phoenix at all because of the anti Morgan Ted. And two, that would not have happened in the first place. It says, even though he was low on health right there, he, if he would have played it smart, he would have actually, uh, had a chance to wake up winning that match. And this right here, I did not actually like because he go went by, back in the next game. After that very, very, um, like, after that heartbreaking loss by Kansas because, because it caused Phoenix with that, I would have, like, went back to Kansas Select right there to actually, like, fight. I thought about what to do, what to do right there. Um... He, I did not like this decision at all. That's because he went right back to the match right there instead of actually like uh, taking a second to think what he did wrong right there and tried not to do it again and not to try to come up with a better strategy. Um, okay, let's go back to the match right there. And, oh, oh, look, see, uh, that right there would have been a very hard confirm right there. I would, I would not have confirmed that right there. Probably. Oh, he could have killed Phoenix right there, but he like did not expect to hit the assist. Another thing right there, Ryan LB doesn't care about losing Phoenix at all right there. If he loses Phoenix right there, he has Chun Li, which Chun Li and S Factor is so fucking crazy. And Morgan because it's Morgan right there. He actually doesn't care if he loses Phoenix because he has backup plans of because how good his Chun Li is and Morgan is. Okay, this right here, he's gonna TSC and I believe it's gonna get broken right here. Yep. 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 Okay, that's to be a dead, uh, dead Chun Li right there. That's good right there. That's good. Roger definitely is doing a little bit better right there on, on that, but uh, he uh, got hit right there because he's, because of Morgan hitboxes right here. Hmm. Okay, there's uh, he he actually could actually stay up in the air a lot more because uh, he doesn't have doom assist. So that's to keep him. I don't know why he's not trying to stay up in the air more. Okay, maybe he's like maybe Ryan Abe is reading him so he can't go up in the air really. Oh, that was a that right there had a very large range on right there, and obviously right there he doesn't care about meter. And oh, okay, and then he got chipped out right there. Okay, this right here he the like basically for this he cannot get he cannot get hit. If he gets hit, he loses because Ryan LB will do the meter steel attack with her and basically make it, make it so that Phoenix never comes out. See, and he's uh, going in right there. He has to be. He has to be very careful on it right there. He has to. He, he thought he was going to teleport right there. Oh, he got low and see, yep. See, I called it right there. Um, basically, he 
had to be he had to pay a lot more patience to actually do anything with that. He uh, like he had to be playing a lot more a uh, lot more carefully right there instead of actually like falling up random stuff. He should have probably stayed more in the air more instead of like being on the ground right there. Uh, so one he would be um, like didn't get hit by that, and two he would have actually like had to like he can actually get around the Morgan Fireball game a bit. Um, the only thing is that he can could not he had to not to get hit by fireballs because those fireballs with that would have probably obviously right now B was going to be throwing more meter stealing fireballs than normal fireballs so he had to be very careful on that but he was playing a ground game against Morgan which really right there why would you try to play a ground game against Morgan if you're free, regular Phoenix says um, basically uh, there was this a couple of things with Hickton Friends right there uh, that basically cost him the game. And also, because the reason why is that he called Morgan assist, his you no know, Phoenix assist right there, at the worst possible time right there. It's 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 just a heartbreak and seeing that stuff like that happen. Well, uh, thank you for watching this video. I will do the next one shortly, and hopefully, you will watch it for the next top eight. And I believe it's the first match of Losers Top Eight. So here we go.